Hello and welcome to this presentation on avoiding plagiarism. Um, you can follow along uh, one of two ways. You can watch this video where I will be um, uh, reading along with the slides and adding a little bit um, so that you have audio or um, your other option is you can move through the Prezi uh, just at your own pace and you can move back and forward and review things. Uh, you may wish to view the video and then if there's anything you want to review you can view the Prezi um, and skip to the part that that you wanted to focus on um, so that uh, you can move at your own pace as you please. My name is Robin Case and I will be um, going through uh, these issues about plagiarism. Um, so here are a number of situations uh, that you can wonder, uh, that you might think about uh, whether or not they are situations that involve someone committing uh, plagiarism. Um, we have Megan who summarizes a chapter from, whoops, summarizes a chapter from her uh, psychology textbook while she's working on a, a psychology research paper. Um, but she doesn't cite the course, or she doesn't cite her source since it's the, the textbook for the class that she's doing the assignment for. Um, is that an, ish, an example of someone committing plagiarism? Um, another example, Eric working on a paper for an environmental chemistry class. Uh, he has an aunt who happens to be an environmental chemist who helps him with the assignment by sending him some data from her own research. Um, if he includes that data in his work, is he committing plagiarism? Uh, Josie uh, has a roommate named Kelly, and Kelly is helping Josie with an assignment for, for Josie's astronomy class. Um, Kelly took the class in another semester already, so Kelly is familiar with the material. Is that an example of Josie committing plagiarism? Or Kelly committing plagiarism? Um, and our final example is Jake, who's rushing to finish up a literature pa paper. Um, he can't remember which page numbers he found some of his information on, so he guesses about what the page numbers were uh, when he's putting together his, his parenthetical um, notations of uh, where he found his information. Is that plagiarism, if he's guessing? Um, so we're going to go over what plagiarism is, um, and as we do that, uh, hopefully you will have a clearer picture and we'll come back to those examples towards the end and see if uh, any of, if you have a clearer idea of which, one of, which ones of those might be uh, plagiarism and which ones might not be, if any, fall into either category. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about what plagiarism is, uh, why it matters, why citing sources is important, um, what that has to do with plagiarism, uh, possible consequences of plagiarism if you end up doing it, how you can avoid plagiarizing. I can give you a hint. It's something that you want to avoid. Uh, and how to identify examples of plagiarism. Probably you know the word plagiarism. You are familiar with it. Uh, you know that it has something to do with uh, stealing, maybe, or you have some concept of, of what it is, but you may not understand the full range of uh, different situations that one can refer to as plagiarism. Um, so here are some definitions just to get us going. What plagiarism means is it is the action or practice of taking someone else's work, idea, etc., and passing it off as one's own. So, plagiarism is literary theft. Obviously, that's something that sounds pretty bad and we wouldn't want to do it. Uh, so, it seems like something that not too many people, you know, that wouldn't happen very often because we know stealing is wrong and things like that. But it turns out to be a little bit complicated. Um, so, I collected some more uh, definitions just so that we get a clear picture of what it is. Plagiarizing is stealing and passing off um, the ideas or words of another as one's own words. To use another's production without crediting the source. Um, so that first part is pretty cut and dry. It means stealing or passing off uh, something and claiming that it's your own. But turns out that just by not, not crediting the original source, you are in effect claiming it as your own. So if you forget to say someone else had this idea originally, you are plagiarizing. Um, another definition here is the unauthorized use of the language and thoughts of another author and the representation of them as one's own. 
uh, and then specifically from the University of Dayton Academic Honor Code, which is applicable uh, for the University of Dayton Univers uh, College Library, uh, quoting directly from any source of material without appropriately citing the source and identifying the quoted material, knowingly citing an incorrect source, or using ideas such as the material other than information that is common knowledge from any source of material without citing the source and identifying the borrowed material. That means that you need to always appropriately point to the source for any information you use in your work. If you get information and you use it in your work, you have to say where you got it from, where you got the information from. Point to the source using the appropriate citation style and do that as correctly as you humanly can. Not doing this, even by accident, can be considered plagiarizing. What is the big deal with plagiarism? Um, it's actually a pretty big deal because academic honesty standards are really one of the major reasons why academic work is considered more